my name is Jonathan Hicks and we're finding the equation for a line. Now this is there's various different topics that are all kind of wrapped up together here. If you watch the intro to sort of algebra and graphs and how they fit together, I explain that an equation, like an algebraic equation, always has a line, a corresponding line that matches it. They're like two halves of the same coin. So for example, if I give you the equation y equals 2x minus 1, there is a, a graphical version of this. This turns out to be a straight line. And these two things, the equation and the line in this case, are the same thing. They're just two different ways of writing exactly the same thing. And I've explained in another video, if you start with the equation, how you can draw a straight line from the equation. So we know how to start from that and end up with a straight line. But what happens if you've been given the straight line and you want to find out what the equation is? That's what we're going to do in this video. All right, so now in general, I've done another video on what's called y equals mx plus c, which is the general equation for a straight line. And it's worth watching that if you're not familiar with that first, because that will go over a lot of the concepts we're going to look at here. But if you imagine this is the x-axis, uh, the y-axis, and you have some kind of straight line on here, like so, then I explained in that video that for y equals mx plus c, if you want to work out what the equation is, all you need is the gradient and the y-intercept. m is the gradient, c is the y-intercept. So c is the point where the line, the straight line crosses the y-axis, it's that value there, you just read it off the graph. And m is the gradient of the straight line. So I've done another video on how you find gradients of lines, you can watch that one if you want more details. But essentially you draw a right angle triangle that sits underneath the line. You work out the height of that triangle, we'll call that H, the width of the triangle, we say that's W, and then M, the gradient, is simply the height of the triangle divided by the width of the triangle. So the short answer here is if you want the equation for a straight line, you work out the gradient by drawing the right angle triangle, height divided by width. You look to see where it crosses the y-axis, that's the y-intercept, and when you know the gradient and y-intercept, you can write down the equation. Because every straight line always has the form y equals mx plus c. So if the gradient turned out to be 2 and the y-intercept was 1, then the equation would be 2x plus 1. So all you need for a straight line is the gradient and y-intercept. And then you can work out the equation. Now, as I say, I've gone over a lot of those steps in more detail in other videos. I'm just going to give you one example where I put the whole thing together now. And then hopefully you'll see how it works. So just give me a minute to draw an example and then I'll explain it. All right, so there we go. So I've drawn a set of axes and I've drawn a straight line on that set of axes. And imagine we want to find out what the equation of this straight line is. Now, if you remember from your y equals mx plus c, all we need to find is the gradient and the y-intercept. Now, the y-intercept is the easiest one you just look to see where the straight line, the straight line here, crosses the y-axis, and it crosses at 1. So the y-intercept straight away is going to be 1. So our equation is going to be y equals something times x. We're not quite sure what the gradient is yet, but it's going to have a plus 1 on the end because it crosses the y-axis at 1. So the only other thing we need to find is the gradient. So we draw a right angle triangle under the line. Now, if it crosses where it crosses the... Uh, y-axis. I like to start there. That's a good point um, to sort of have the bottom of your right angle triangle. Uh, and I usually want to make it fairly big. The bigger it is, generally the more accurate it will be. So I'm going to go across to 4 and then I'll go back up to the line and we'll see where that ends up. So we need to find the height and the width of the right angle triangle. So for the height, well it starts off at 1 and it goes up to What's that, about 3? Yeah, I think that's 3. So the height from 1 up to 3, that means it has a height of 2. Yeah, the difference between 1 and 3 is 2. So the height of that triangle is 2. The width of the triangle, well, it starts off at 0 at the origin here, and it goes all the way across to 4, I think. So that means the width of this triangle would be 4. So the gradient, m, is the height of the triangle, 2, 
divided by the width of the triangle, which is 4. Now be careful here, 2 divided by 4 is not 2. The smaller number is on the top here. So it's a fraction, check if it cancels. This one does, in this case it cancels down to a half. So the gradient of this straight line is a half. So the number that goes in front of the x is a half, and you write it just like that. So the final equation for this line here would be y equals a half x plus 1. So that's it really, there's not much more to this, it's pretty straightforward. If you've got a straight line, just see what the y-intercept is, where it crosses the y-axis, work out the gradient by drawing your right angle triangle, and then replace the m and c from y equals mx plus c with the values that you've just worked out, and then you've got your equation.